everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is all about this nice fall easy makeup for the fall right now I am starting off with my moisturizer and it's the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel I really like this gel especially if I have um, oily skin so this works perfect for my skin I put my hair up but that is not in the way and I am priming my eyelid with um, the sharp tape concealer in um, light medium I also started to listen to Mallory Irvin's her podcast I was that was my first time listening to it and I was um, very impressed of her podcast and everything she was saying it was really really interesting and also educated so if you want to know or hear her podcast I will leave her information down below in the description box so like I said I prime my eyelid with the shape tape concealer and now I'm using this Urban Decay heat palette I use the shade called Soft and Low Blow for my transition and I'm blending that and putting it all in my outer corner of my eyelid and just building it up little by little until I see that it's enough pigments and um, shade so I can do a cut crease. This is my first time ever doing a cut crease. So, I'm very excited and nervous at the same time. I am building up the shadow, both shadow, the low blow and soft. And building it up slowly until I see it has right on the alley for my cut crease. And it looks perfect for the fall look. Now I'm going to use this shade called Heat Devil and apply that to my outer corner and just concentrate that right at the outer corner and blend it a little bit with my transition. Like that is more of a brownish, burgundy um, color. Now I'm going to use my tape shade to cut crease my eyelid. And I'm going to use a flat brush. I think that's Morphe brush. And I'm going to apply little by little and make sure that it's kind of even to do the cut crease. I feel like there's always one eye that looks better than the other. I know they're sisters, not twins. But right here you can see that I'm trying to see and make it even as much as I can and then I'm gonna take this shade called Scorch and apply that to my where the concealer is at to make it more bold and pigment that's the reason why I put the concealer under so it could be more um, pigmented I slowly build it up to make it more intense like that you can see the shimmery of that shade then I added a little bit of lumbre that's more of a orangey tone and apply that more like in my inner corner of my eyelids and spread it out to my um and almost to my halfway of the lid like that it looks more on the orangey brownish um, side so I slowly build it up and apply it as much as I can so it could be more pigmented. 
There was a little bit of fallout, but not as much, because it's a little bit of glitter and shimmer, as you may see right there. Now I'm going to use this sponge to clean out any acids that may have dropped. And now I'm going to use my foundation. This is my first time using this foundation, and it's the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage. Um, foundation is up to 24 hour foundation and I'm in shade 128 warm nude 128 warm nude it's a little light on my skin right now but now that the winter's coming and the colder weather is coming it's gonna match perfect but I will build it up to more coverage because you can have a light to medium coverage so I built it up and I'm gonna use my Shape Tape Tart Concealer and I'm gonna um, highlight and apply under my eyes and my funny faces. <laughs> and now let's start blending all the concealer and brighten the areas that needs to be brightened up because you can make your face look more brighter and cleaner. I love the way the foundation looks. It gave me very good full coverage and it's very, very nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna um, set my entire face with this Too Faced Sweet Peach Peach Perfect um, Setting Powder. I love this loose powder. I love it because it keeps me matte and, and it makes my foundation last longer with this loose powder. I apply everywhere and I try to carve my and highlight under my jawline. Now I'm gonna use the same shade that I use to my under eyes and make it all even I use low blow and a mix with sauce to make it all even and equal blending that little by little and now I'm gonna use lumbre and apply that basically in the inner corner of my eye my waterline like that it's all nice and even and shimmery I love, love, love the way it looks. It was an easy makeup. It's not gonna give you, and it's not difficult at all. And it's perfect for um, the fall. The more you practice this look, you'll make it way less time than 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna take this uh, angled brush from Real Techniques, and I'm gonna use this two shades right here called En Fuego and Ashes they're both like a En Fuego is more of a burgundy shade and Ashes is a dark brown and I'm going to just do like a wing line and with this shadow so it can look a little darker and a nice I really like this it makes my it makes it look more bolder and more glam and perfect for the fall because you want to have some bold colors and your eyes look more awake. And I'm also going to apply the same shade under my waterline as well. I was listening to her whole entire podcast just doing my makeup. It is really nice and motivating. Living fully, I think that's her... Um, podcast I put out the information down below like I mentioned now I'm using this Fenty Beauty um, bronzer I really like this Fenty Beauty this is my first time using this bronzer and it's the one in called Private Island it's really nice I love this shape that's one of my favorite favorite shape of um, my favorite shape and I love it you have to build it up as you may see, I build it up slowly. It's really, really, really nice. 
Now I'm gonna use this Too Faced Natural Face Palette to add a little bit more of a bronzy look at that um, look beautiful and put together. Then I'm gonna use this highlighter to um, highlight my inner corners and also highlight my brow bone. And that highlighter is Starlight from this palette. Now I'm gonna do my brows and this I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I just did a quick brow. And now for my lips, I'm using this MAC Spice Lip Liner, one of my favorite lip liners. I love it so much. Perfect, because it's like a nude um, lip liner. Then I was undecided to use this shade, but this is the MAC Lipstick in Velvet Teddy. I love it because it's also a nice um, nude. But then I also mix it up with um, this Morphe liquid lipstick in Stunner and blend it with my fingers. I'm gonna apply it a little bit so it could just give me some nice tint. And then I'm also using some um, highlighter and I'm using satin shears to highlight my high points of my cheeks, my nose, and everywhere I want to highlight. Then I'm using this MAC Fix Plus setting spray to set my whole entire face. And that's that. And now for my lashes, I'm using this curling lash curl lash and it's I think from e.l.f. and then I'm gonna use this mascara this mascara is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the full flat lashes curl and separation volume length drama the five star mascara it is very very good this mascara I feel like it's giving me a lot of volume and length to my lashes and I really really like it and it's easy to apply as well because it's not a big chunky chunky um, bristle so it's easier for me to apply my mascara and that is that guys I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look for your fall season let me know if you want to try in the comments below I will be more than happy to reply to you guys also don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe and click that bell like that you are notified every time i upload a video because my i am planning a new another makeup look but more glamorous with lashes and all that nice fun stuff this makeup look was very fun and easy to achieve and simple as well you just gotta incorporate some nice little colors for the fall i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for more fall season um, series in my youtube channel because i am trying to incorporate a lot of fall season um, videos for you guys to enjoy and to relax and incorporate in your daily life as well thank you so much and i will see you in my next video bye bye Thank you.